Hey guys, before we jump into today's video, got an announcement to make. This is really cool. Funko just announced this uh, just this past day, so I want to make sure you guys know what's going on. They have announced an event called Save a Buck in Buckeye. Now, they have a Funko warehouse in Buckeye, Arizona, about 35 minutes from where I live. They are going to be doing an open house for people who want to come get Funko Pops. They're getting rid of a bunch of stuff. They said you can save up to 75% off. They are doing it from the 9th to the 12th of this month. So it starts this coming week on Thursday, goes through Sunday. Going to be a really, really cool event. Probably going to have a lot of stuff from Funko.com there, but for really cheap. So we're going to be there. Not sure what days. We don't even know what times they're going to be doing, but it will be a four-day event. So we will definitely be there probably more than once. Really excited about this. Just wanted to let you guys know what was going on. Now let's get into today's video. Hello, everybody. AZ Pop Hunter here. Thank you guys for tuning into the video. This past week, not feeling great. We did not do any Funko Pop hunting. As you guys know, I've been sick like randomly over the past two months. I feel like this cold just will not go away. So uh, we stayed home, got some rest, drank some fluids, and we're back at it. We're feeling good. We're actually here at Santan Village in these comfy, comfy chairs. Don't know why they just look comfortable. Figured I would shoot my intro here, but we're gonna go into box lunch. They posted that they have a couple things inside that were new, just some commons. I think there's only two or three of them, but I figured let's go see what they are, how they look, show them to you guys, and then who knows what we're gonna do after that. We may have some mail when we get home that we open up. I don't know if it'll be there, but we'll check. Uh, we got some local buyers selling some stuff. Don't know if we're gonna meet them, but we'll see. But yeah, why waste any more time? Hit the music, hit the title, let's go. All right, I can't sit here anymore. I've been sitting here for like an hour. Let's get inside box lunch. Check out these cats dressed like Sailor Moon characters. I mean, you know, I do like Sailor Moon. I definitely like cats. So these are, uh, these are definitely catching my attention. Thought they were kind of cool. Just wanted to show them off. Let's head to the Funko Pop wall. Okay, cool. So we just got back here and they do have some of the new Pokemon ones that I wanted to show off. We have Munchlax, which is definitely a cute one. And we have Oshawott down here for all the people who love their starters. And then the one that I'm most excited about, Espeon, which is definitely my favorite evolution. And uh, when this one drops, either Flocked or Diamond, I definitely am going to want to pick both of those up because, you know, Espeon's obviously the best. Let's keep looking around. Alright, we left uh, Box Lunch. Now we're going to leave Santan Village. We actually did stop in their Hot Topic. They had nothing new. Uh, they dropped a bunch of stuff last night on their Instagram, but I don't know. The guy who uh, was working said that he doesn't remember anybody putting it out on the shelf, so nothing there to show off. We're going to get in the car. We're going to go somewhere else, so yeah, let's get to it. All right, we're not going to go to a ton of places today, but we are at Desert Mercantile. We have been here before. Nice antique shop. I picked up Dean, so he's going to be looking around with me. Let's get inside. So the first case is all Dragon Ball. Well, not all, but mostly. We do have the uh, Goten Trunks 2-pack. We got the Chrome Beerus. I like the Gohan Piccolo 2-pack over here. Kind of hard to see with the glare. We got the Great Ape Goku. Entertainment Earth exclusive. We have uh, Khalifa and Kale. That's a 2-pack I definitely need to get signed eventually. And I really do like the perfect sell here with the Emerald City Comic Con sticker. Unfortunately, the stickers are not in great condition, so it's not going to be something that I will be grabbing. Hot Topic Super Saiyan Trunks. We got Zeno down here. We got a bunch that are signed. And then we have regular and flocked Beerus 
from Resurrection F and then Dragon Ball Super. Over here we got Whis. We got Goku, Gohan. Looks like Freeze's back there. And uh, I definitely want to check out, it looks like there's a couple Shenrons back here. They do have the green one, the gold one, and the regular one. So I may take a look at those boxes, but uh, definitely a cool case to start with. All right, so Dean found some pops in here. Looks like we do have some Assassin's Creed stuff, which is cool. You do not get to see a ton of that out there. So if you're an Assassin's Creed fan, those will probably appeal to you. And then uh, looking around down here, Mortal Angels, Summoner's War, really nothing that appeals to me. We do have uh, Conan in here, GameStop exclusive. They also got some pins. Let's check those out real quick, see what they are. Looks like they got the Wolfman, and then the GameStop uh, Deceased Joker, which is uh, pretty creepy. Let's get around to the other side. We got a case back here. We do have Jay and Silent Bob. Of course, from uh, Jay and Silent Bob. We got uh, Vincent Van Gogh, which is really cool. I do like seeing that. We got Jack in the Box down here. I guess it's just Jack Box. I did not know that his name was Jack Box, but still really cool. Go all the way down. Looks like Hugsy from Friends. Black Light Kate Bishop. Let's keep looking around. All right, so there is a lot of Dragon Ball down here. And uh, everybody knows that I do love my Dragon Ball. So we're going to take a look around real quick, see what they have. If I can make some space, get that over there. Got a Cell First Form, which is really cool. That's a glow in the dark pop. Got Ultra Instinct Goku. Up here, Super Saiyan Goku, Glow in the Dark, Entertainment Earth exclusive. Goku on the Flying Nimbus. And then this entire area down here, Dean already started digging. Let's take a seat on the ground. Oh boy. There is a lot. We got Krillin here, Android 18. Got Perfect Cell over here. That is not the Chrome GameStop Edition. Master Roshi, FYE exclusive. That one's cool. Zamasu down there. Gohan. Dean's knocking stuff over. Some more Zamasu. I'm going to take a look at Zamasu here. See which one it is. That looks like the normal one. See if this one's the Glow in the Dark Edition. Yes, it is. Walmart Glow in the Dark Zamasu. I really do like that. Majin Buu Evil. And this is the Chrome Funimation 2021 one. That's really cool. We got Goku Black. Who doesn't love Goku Black? What a great villain he was. Regular Majin Buu. We got Trunks up here. And then future trunks right next to him. This is a Hot Topic exclusive. I believe this is the one that has the chase as well. I got the uh, pink chrome FYE exclusive Majin Buu. I definitely like that. PX Previews Goku. If there's anything else in here. Videl. There's a lot of a lot of pops to go through in here. Geez, got Bulma up there. Kid Buu. Goku right here. I mean, it's hard for me not to just want to buy them all. I do love Dragon Ball, so glad to see there's a lot here. We may have to check a few out, see what the condition is, but especially with all the signings coming up, maybe worth grabbing a few. Looking at the ones on the wall here, I do think this one's kind of cool. This is Norman Bates from Psycho. And uh, if you know the movie, you know the scene where he comes out dressed as his mother. Definitely a really cool one. And uh, glad we got to show that one off because it's one I don't see often. Here is a look at the rack back here. Got some really cool wrestling ones down here. Undertaker. And then we got the uh, Undertaker again, but that's the biker version, Macho Man. Got him down here as well. Ronda Rousey. 
Wonder if she'll be back. Triple H. GameStop exclusive. Then we got Mr. T. And last but not least, Stone Cold Steve Austin. All right, guys, we're leaving the antique shop. I did check out all the Shenron boxes, but unfortunately, none of them were in good enough condition to get signed. So we passed on those. But you know what? We're still going to keep Funko Pop hunting. Let's go somewhere else. All right, guys, last stop of the day, Samurai Comics in Mesa. This is pretty cool. Infinity War Iron Man. I like the way his suit looks in that one. Let's start digging through. So that was Samurai Comics, and then after that, we actually went out to dinner, and then we went food shopping, and then we didn't do any more Funko Pop hunting. So we are done for the day. We didn't pick anything up, but I'm glad that we let you guys know about this event coming up in Goodyear. Really excited to go to the Funko Warehouse, see what we can find. There is the information again. Uh, if you're going to be there, you see us, definitely say hi. If you're not able to make it, that's cool. We're going to post up some videos, show you guys what they were doing, but hopefully they got some cool stuff there. I'm guessing it's just going to be all the stuff on Funko's website that they haven't sold, but... We will see. Anyways, we are done for the day. Thank you guys so much for watching. You have Instagram. You want to follow me on there. AZ underscore Pop Hunter. That is me. If you guys like the video, go ahead, give it a like. And if you guys like Funko Pops, Funko Pop Hunting, anything like that, feel free to subscribe to the channel. We would love to have you join the hunting family. We are done for the day, but we will see you next time. <laughs>